What is up, beauties? My name is Burnsy, and as usual, I thank you so much for stopping by, and I hope you enjoy your stay. Today, we're going to take a little bit of a break from Modern Warfare 3. I know your sub box have been getting absolutely raped by Modern Warfare 3 videos, and I'm going to bring you back to my younger years, uh, back in 2001, 2002, 2003, 2004, basically my high school years. And I'm going to bring you some Halo 1 Combat Evolved. This is not on Halo 1, this is actually the Halo Reach engine, but when you buy the Halo Anniversary Edition, you get the Anniversary Map Pack. Now, it might be played on the Reach engine, but this plays exactly the way I want it to play. Double kill! Uh, it plays exactly like Halo 1 did back when you were playing LAN parties, and when Xbox Live didn't exist. And I know those of you who are younger are probably going to ask, Burnsy, what do you mean Xbox Live hasn't always existed? Well, it didn't. Halo 1 came out in 2001, and I believe I was 15 years old, and some of you might be too young to remember this game coming out. Some of you probably have never even played it. Some of you probably have never played any Halo games, for that matter. I know Call of Duty has been king. But if you're looking for a first-person game, a developer to thank for the first-person shooters that come out in this day and age, you want to thank Bungie, Halo 1, especially Halo 2 if you're talking online play. Like I said before, Xbox Live did not exist when Halo 1 came out. And you might be asking yourself, well, how did, how did you play multiplayer games? You know, if this is a anniversary edition, is this multiplayer brand new? Is it just Reach with Halo 1 physics? Well, sort of. Uh, I know it's hard to believe, but you actually had to have friends to come over and play at your house. You know, whoever had the Xbox, you know, not all of us were fortunate to have Xboxes, so uh, you went over to whoever had the game and you got yourself a controller, and it was you and seven of your friends, and you'd play some four on four. These maps and these game types are from Halo 1 but you can play them online now in the Halo Reach engine. For those of you familiar with the newer Halo games, such as Halo 3 and Halo Reach and maybe even Halo 2, you think to yourself, what's the weapon that people use? The What's the weapon that the pros use? What's the powerful weapon? And you might be thinking to yourself, well, Battle Rifle, or if you're thinking Halo Reach, you're thinking DMR. Not the case with Halo 1. If you're watching this, this is a huge fail right here, by the way. We'll just take a timeout to watch me uh, fail with the Overshield. You gotta hit your shots in Halo. That's that's a pro tip right there, but the pistol was king. In this game, and in Halo 1 back in the day, it was a four-shot kill to the head. So this makes it a little bit more of a skill-based game. I know the argument's gonna come up, what takes more skill, Halo or Call of Duty? Uh, without a doubt, it's Halo. Uh, there's no question, you can argue it all day. But as far as what I think of the Halo 1 anniversary, I haven't jumped into the campaign yet. In my opinion, Halo has the best campaigns of any first-person shooter. But jumping into multiplayer on the Reach engine, I was having nerd moment after nerd moment after nerd moment. I can certainly tell you that my teammates in this game have never played Halo 1 in their life. They're running around with the assault rifle. Pro tip, Halo 1. Do not use any weapon besides the sniper rifle, the shotgun, and the pistol. If you're running around with the assault rifle, kind of want to slap you in the face. Another reason I really love Halo 1 is all the maps are symmetrical, small, and fast-paced, and really work well for 4 on 4 here. Couple slow parts in this game because my teammates sucked. I think I get 22 kills and my teammates get 5? Yeah, we lose like 50 to 27, so I was running around beast moding it up with the pistol, and I'm just absolutely loving the Halo 1 anniversary. It really just kind of brings me back. And what I mean by that is that Halo really got me into the first-person shooter genre. I used to always just play sports games like Madden and NHL and baseball games, but if it wasn't for Halo 1 and Halo 2 and Halo 3, I would have never discovered other first-person shooters, and I certainly would have never discovered Call of Duty. So if you're looking for a break from Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 and that game's just frustrating the hell out of you and you're a Halo fan, uh, come on, bring yourself back, be nostalgic and come enjoy some Halo 1, or if you were never into Halo in the first place, or maybe you are, but you never got to play Halo 1, come on over and check it out. If you are going to play the campaign, you will need to pick up the disc. It is not a full price game, it is $40. And if you just want to play multiplayer, I believe you can just download the Halo 1 Anniversary Map Pack from the Marketplace on Halo Reach. Not sure how much it costs, I'm guessing probably 1,200 Microsoft points. But that is it for me today, guys. I thank you so much for stopping by, and I hope you enjoy your stay. If you did, please do me a favor and show some support by hitting the like rating below. The question of the day for the comment section is going to be, which game got you into first-person shooters? 
And be sure to follow me on Twitter and Facebook. The links are in the description below. Stay beautiful, my friends, and I'll see you later. Have a wonderful week.